Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abom and welcome to another look at one of the groups in the Euro 2020 simulation on Football Manager 2020. Today we're looking at Group C. Uh, which is anybody's to win looking at the four nations in this group and it's Belgium, Croatia, the Netherlands and Romania. Not the Netherlands and Holland, as I said in my first take, I've had to redo this one. Uh, the matches in this group taking place in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands and in Bucharest in Romania. Romania having all three games in uh, Bucharest, uh, the Netherlands having two of them in uh, Amsterdam in the Johan Cruyff Arena. Uh, no home field advantage for the Belgians, but they will hopefully try and uh, make a good show in Croatia, of course, the runners up from the 2018 World Cup, losing to France. Romania will be the outside team in this one, but um, they could still uh, provide an upset. Uh, so the first two games from this group will be uploaded on Sunday, the 14th of June, one at five o'clock and one at 7.45. And as we did with Group A and Group B, we're going to go through the four teams in this group and we're going to have a look at their road to the tournament uh, and the 23-man squad they're taking. So we'll start off with Croatia, then the runners-up, as I said, in the 2018 World Cup. Only once have they failed to qualify for a European Championship since they uh, split from Yugoslavia, and that was in Euro 2000. Last tournament, they only made the round of 16, uh, and then they came up against Portugal and lost 1-0 after extra time. Croatia qualify for Euro 2020 as the winners of Group E, winning six and losing two of their eight games with a goal difference of plus 11. Uh, the two games they lost were a home defeat 1-0 against Wales and a 1-0 defeat away against Slovakia. Other teams in this group were Hungary and Azerbaijan. No June friendlies before the tournament for Croatia. They did beat Cyprus and draw with Switzerland back in March. No real surprises with Croatia's squad. Some of the absentees are Josip Bricalo from Wolfsburg, uh, Orsic of Dinamo Zagreb, uh, Barisic of Rangers, Nikola Vlasic of CSK in Moscow. Uh, but manager Zlatko Dalic has taken this 23-man squad. The goalkeepers are Lovra Kalinic, Dominic Livakovic, who will probably start off in goal, and uh, Mirko Benetzi is the third player. Uh, in the defenders, we have Filip Benkovic of Leicester, Duja Kalitakar of Marseille, Etin Yedvai of Augsburg, and Dejan Lovren of Liverpool, Josip Pavaric, Jeremy Tolian of Sassuolo, Domagoj Vida of Besiktas, and Shima Vysalko of Atletico Madrid round up the defenders. Croatia have possibly one of the strongest midfields of the tournament with Marcelo Brozovic of Inter Milan, Alan Hililovic, Mateo Kovacic of Chelsea, uh, Luka Modric, the uh, Real Madrid midfielder, Mario Pasalic of Atalanta, and Ivan Rakitic of Barcelona. So a very strong midfield for Croatia, it seems. Six forwards in the form of uh, Nikola Kalinic of Roma, Andrei Kramaric of Hoffenheim, Ivan Perisic of uh, Bayern, Bruno Pekovic, Marco Piaka of Anderlecht, and Ante Rebic of AC Milan. So a strong Croatia squad, it seems. You'd think they'd be looking to win this group despite having no games in Croatia, but um, they should well hopefully do well. So it's it looks like a strong Croatia squad. That midfield certainly looks very, very strong. So Croatia will definitely be a dark horse for this tournament after their runners-up finish in the World Cup. Their first opponents are Romania, who haven't qualified for a World Cup since 1998. And in the Euros, they've only once managed to get out of the group stage, and that was in Euro 2000, where they reached the quarterfinals. Uh, Romania qualified from Group F in second place behind Spain, winning seven and losing three of their ten group games. Uh, it was a very good start with uh, four victories with zero goals conceded, beating Sweden, Norway, the Faroe Islands and Malta. Uh, but things came unglued in September as they lost 2-0 at home and 1-0 at home to Spain and Sweden respectively. Two goals from Erling Haaland uh, gave Norway a 2-0 win which saw Romania lose their third strike qualifier. But they ended strongly with a win against Faroe Islands followed by a surprise win in Spain, two goals to one, and a 2-0 victory in Malta. Uh, in their warm-up game, they did lose 3-2 at home to Wolves with late goals of our own guard by Tati Rusanu and a Tom Bradshaw goal. George Priscas of Reading misses out on the squad due to a long-term shoulder injury. Stefan Radu of Lazio uh, at 33, probably not suitable for the squad anymore. And Yanis Hadji of Rangers also missing out. Uh, but manager Mirel Radoy has taken this 23-man squad for Romania. Costel Pantelemon of Nottingham Forest is one of the three goalkeepers alongside Yonat Radu and Ciprian Tatarasanu, the goalkeeper who did score an own goal against Wales, the own keeper. Uh, amongst the defenders, Mihai Balasha, Nikos Banchu, Romario Benza, Vlad Kirekej of Sosuolo, Christian Ganea, Dragos Grigore of Ludigorets, Christian Manea of Cluj, Cosmin Moti and Alin Toshka. 
In the midfielders, Tudor Baluta of Ado Den Haag, Nikusor Banku, Julian Kristea, uh, Razvan Marin of Ajax, and Dragos Nedelku of Stour. Florin Andone of Galatasaray, um, the strikers, along with Denis Dragus of Standard Liège, Claudio Cacheru of Ludigorets, Denis Mann, Alexandru Mitrita of New York City, Nikolai Stanciu of Slavia Prague, and Florin Tarnase of Stour. Lots of Romanians playing in Romania, a few players in foreign leagues. Uh, Romania, probably the outsiders in this group, but we'll see how they do. The other opening game in this group features the Netherlands one-time winners of the European Championships back in 1988. The Netherlands missed out on the Euros in 2016, not qualifying for the first time since 1984. They also missed out on the World Cup in 2018, so this is their first tournament since their third place finish in the 2014 World Cup. Uh, the Netherlands finished in second place in qualifying Group C behind Germany and ahead of Northern Ireland. Two defeats against Germany saw them miss out on the top spot as well as a 1-0 loss in Northern Ireland. Belarus and Estonia were pretty much whipping boys in the qualifying group. They won both of their games against them uh, and beat Northern Ireland three goals to nil at home. The Netherlands have not played a game at all since November the 19th. No friendlies either. These guys have played for their clubs but haven't played as a squad for over six months. We'll see if that lack of match practice has affected them at all, but amongst the absentees are Quincy Promes, uh, Wout Weghorst, Justin Kluivert. Uh, but the Holland squad, managed by Ronald Koeman, looks like this. Jasper Sillison will be the first choice goalkeeper behind him. There is Marco Bizo of Eze Alkmaar and Sergio Pat of Groningen. Bournemouth's Nathan Arke is amongst the defenders alongside Daly Blind of Ajax, uh, Matisse Delight of Juventus, Stefan de Vrij of Inter Milan, Hans Hatterboer, Virgil van der Kost, the defensive man for Liverpool, and Gerald Ventman of Ajax. It is a stacked midfield for the Netherlands with Frankie de Jong and Martin de Roon, Davy Klaassen of Werder Bremen, Davy Prepper of Brighton, Dali Sinkgraven of Bayer Leverkusen, Kevin Strootman of Marseille, Jens Tornstra of Feyenoord, Donny van der Beek of Ajax, Tommy Villenia of Krasnodar and Georgina Wijnaldum, uh, Virgil van Dijk's teammate at Liverpool. A noticeable problem in the Netherlands is a lack of firepower up front with only three forwards taken to the tournament. They are Steven Bergwijn of uh, Tottenham Hotspur, Luke de Jong of Sevilla and Memphis Depay of Lyon. Only three attacking players taken, so a lack of depth up front for the Dutch that might come back to haunt them. They're taking on neighbours and rivals Belgium in their opening fixture. Belgium with an almost perfect record in their qualification group, dropping just two points. Belgium always been marked as dark horses in recent years and after their third place finish in the 2018 World Cup, they'll look to get one step further and maybe go on to win the thing. But last time in the Euros, they reached the quarterfinals and that was their first European Championship since they hosted it in Euro 2000. Uh, but Belgium, comfortable winners of Group I ahead of Russia with 28 points out of 30. Uh, the Russians are the only team to take points from Belgium and that was their final qualifying game, which was a 1-1 draw in Luzhniki. Scotland were a close third behind Russia, but Cyprus, Kazakhstan and San Marino um, were nowhere near those three. Uh, Belgium with two friendly games in June, beating Slovenia at 1-0 and that was before a 1-1 draw at Wembley against England, Dries Mertens saving a point in that one. They have two games in Amsterdam, followed by a game against Romania in Bucharest. Belgium declining to take Michi Batshuayi for this tournament, which was a bit of a surprise. Raja Nangelen also missing out. But Roberto Martinez um, looking to improve on the third place finish of 2018 with this 23-man squad, including Cohen Castiles, Thibaut Courtois and Simon Mignolet as his three goalkeepers. Courtois expected to start in goal there. In defence, Tottenham are represented by Toby Alderweireld and Jan Vertonghen. Dijk Boyata of Hertha Berlin also in those defenders, alongside Timothy Castagna, uh, Jason Denea of Lyon, Vincent Company of Anderlecht and Thomas Mounier of Paris Saint-Germain. A strong midfield for Belgium, Kevin De Bruyne in there, the Man City star of course, uh, Leander Dendonka of Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, the Hazard brothers, Thorgan Hazard of Borussia Dortmund in those midfield, uh, Oro Mangala, Stuttgart, Yuri Tielemans of uh, Leicester City, Birger Verstraet of Köln and Axel Witzel of Borussia Dortmund. And in the forwards, we have got Yannick Carrasco of Atletico Madrid. Eden Hazard, of course, the brother of Thorgan at Real Madrid. Um, been okay for Real Madrid, 13 goals. 
in the league nine assists he's been pretty decent for them the 86 million pound man from chelsea also with the forge we have adnan yenazai of real sociedad romelu lukaku of inter milan uh, Dries Mertens of Napoli and Divock Origi of Liverpool so a strong Belgium squad some notable absentees in there but Belgium looking to maybe finally get a trophy they are once again going to be dark horses in this tournament because that's what they've been for the past two or three tournaments can they finally get the big one we'll wait and see so who knows how this group is going to go this group is probably the most competitive of all of them I think Romania will be the outsiders here and you would think they're going to finish bottom on paper Football's not played on paper though, of course. Belgium, Croatia and Holland, all with um, very strong squads. Um, Netherlands though might suffer from the fact that they haven't played a game together since November and also from their lack of real attacking players. They've got a stacked midfield but don't really have a lot of options in the forward positions. So based on that, I think Belgium and Croatia will be the favourites to go through this group. Uh, one of the other two, Netherlands or Romania, could yet qualify as a strong third place, but we'll have to wait and see. Next video, we're going to be looking at the four teams in Group D, which feature the host of the final, England. They've got a very favourable group, which includes Georgia qualifying for their first major tournament, Slovenia and Wales. England surely favourites for that one, but next time we're going to have a look through those four teams and have a look at their squads and how they got here. But England, they look to be favourites for that group, surely. I guess we'll wait and see you next time. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And I will see you next episode for that look at Group D. Do not forget the Euro start on Friday, the 12th of June. And the video will be premiering on YouTube at 8 o'clock. So you can join the chat and see how the game goes. So the Euros are not far away at all now. When this comes out, it will be a week away. So it's right on top of us. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.